What's up guys, Cyber Houdini here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In the last episode, we finally took down John's old mentor, Dutch Vanderlyn. And the agents, Agent Ross and Agent Foreman, have finally uh, released John from his mission. And he gets to go home. Turn to his family. His wife, Abigail, and his son, Jack. John is free. Here it is guys, Beecher's Hope, John's Ranch, it's a nice bit of land, hey, I assume that's his wife Abigail, John finally gets to return, this is awesome, the outlaws return, god I hope they're okay, Abigail, Jack, Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day. <laughs> oh, God, she's pissed. No good hillbilly piece of shit. I thought you was dead. I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. You put him in the ground. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. Mm. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Thank God. She's like an older bunny, isn't she? An older dark haired bunny. She's got all that tough heart. Jack! Jack, come there here. There he is. Oh, he's young enough. Hello, sir. Come here. How's 
bet. Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did, son. It's crazy to see John as a father. Don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. <laughs> you're supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses mm. until you figured out which one to use. Jack. Why is his beard green? We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. Hmm. Jeez, John, have a rest, man. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes. Didn't I say, rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Really? Was it a prison, though? John gets some well deserved R and R. <laughs> oh Lord. She ain't got time for that sentimental crap. Was it like five in the morning or something? Company Jack, that's cool there, Silo. This is a this is a nice place, John. What was the uncle called? I can't remember. He looks like Jake from the very start of the game, but that's not him. You were leaving. Don't torture the poor boy. Mm. Watch your mouth. Where are you, Jack? It's a big enough farm for three people. Stop calling me sir. I suppose back right. then they had to have manners, you know. Respect your elders. It just seems so informal. It's your father. You gonna take my horse? I don't mind. You can ride my horse if you want, dude. It's been good to me. Let's go, Jack. Come on. Jesus Christ. Accompany him, I said. Let's go. Wasting daylight. We're gonna talk. I'm silent horse, right? How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. The McFarland's are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Met them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. <laughs> well, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, Uncle told me about it. Christ. I didn't know the dirty old fool. Uh, no, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Not gonna tell him much about it, is he? Probably the boy probably doesn't even know that he's been running in a gang. Okay, hey, come on. We're gonna go what? through here quickly. Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favors. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe to be here by yourself. Those men That's where I lost my horse, boy. Okay. Don't call your horse Some there. Of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Oh, no. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Yeah. Like you, you mean? I know Ooh. I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that... That life, it's over now. Let's hope it's not too late, John. 
Jack could hate you for the rest of his life. Hennigan stayed. Yeah, I want to get through Thief's landing quickly. To do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. That, that's all. Yeah, I caught Almost. up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? You going, bud? We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a, a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. No. Well, I imagine that's what it says. I don't want to miss any of this conversation, you know? This is something he's fought the whole game for. So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Paul. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. Indeed they were. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. What ours will be one day. I read Hopefully. the newspaper their ranch is dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. You shouldn't believe everything you read. I was thinking, maybe I might be a businessman. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the Old West on the side. You can be whatever you want, son, but for now, let's concentrate on getting some food on the table. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. Yeah, let's see how Bonnie's doing. God, the last time we seen that poor girl, she was being hung. Howdy. It's been a while since I've returned here. Everything seems okay. There he is, Drew. John Marston. There's a face I thought I'd never see again. However, our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another mm. homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Drew seems in better spirits anyway. Good luck. Take care. Right to Bonnie. Is that barn still burnt down? Ah, it's looking good now. Fresh lick of paint on it. You're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? I'll do my best, sir. Don't get cocky now, man. Let's do your job. Bunny! Do my eyes deceive me? <laughs> oh dear. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Mr. Still got that quick wit. After the barn fire, you remember? Yeah. Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on then. What, what was that gesture all about? Move into position behind her. Now, I know this is all strange after all the shootouts we've had. <clears throat> it does slow things down considerably. But I suppose John does deserve it. This is what he's wanted. He's wanted his own ranch. But yeah, it is, it is a funny way to do things. It's a prologue in every sense of the word. Jack, keep him headed towards the river. Come on. Okay. Come on, Jack. Drive the herd to the river. Come on, come on. No, we got a straggler already. I thought he was... Oh, excuse me. Hold on now. Jesus Christ, go. It's been so long. No. Oh, look, the auto jump is back. Best feature ever. Good luck, Drew. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. <laughs> Mr. Williamson. Let's just say Bill and I settled our differences. It's the ghost man, the ghost. Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. <laughs> uh, the arrogance of you. Hello. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> 
Must take after his father. He's always saying 14 out of 15 there. Come on. Should we really be leading these She's down well, the train we track? We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. It's going to take some time. We've all been through a lot. John didn't do any talking last night. Like Jack. Oh. Nice All to right. see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for Call everything. Me Bonnie, you don't. You don't. Slow it up now. Bye, right, Bonnie. Jack. Let's get him through the river. All right, Jesus. I'm very sorry. I wanted to say goodbye to Bonnie. She's been good to us. Come on, Jack. Now don't go drown in this river. Be home before you know it. Hup, hup. Oh, this is not going to end well. Get them through here nice and quick. Come on, Jack. No, you don't. Come on, come on. Come on, hop. There we go. Now I don't want to jump. Yeah, he's doing good. Will do, Paul. He's doing good. Drive the herd to Beecher's Hole. Beecher's Hole. Not a bad name for a ranch, if I do say so myself. I don't think we got trouble up ahead. They look like rustlers. I'll deal with this. Stay with the herd, Jack. Yeah, I gotta take care of business. See what your daddy can do. Who wants it next? That one almost got me. What's the defend Jack and the herd? I did. My right, look, they're done. They're done now. What's wrong? Jack! Wait there, I'm coming! You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared on it. Sorry you had to see that, son. Yeah. These men won't be stealing from anybody else. No. Alright, let's round up the stragglers and get moving. Is this my Momo? Come here, Momo. I don't see any more. There's one. Uh, here's a couple here. Come on. Easy. Graze on your own time. I ain't got time for this. Come on. Slow up. There you go. Don't look at the bodies. Head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Come on, easy up now. Damn rustlers that picked the wrong guy to mess with. The Marston Ranch. Not to be trifled with. All right, come on. All right, now lead him into the pit. Go. All right, guys, we are back. Probably cut out a bit. I took it. Took a little longer than you think. Stinking cows. Let's go. There you go. Fifteen cows for the Marston Ranch. Not bad. Nice work, son. We made. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Is anybody going to close the gate? Oh, there like you go. There you go. Right. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. I didn't see him shoot. There you go, a little bonding session for the boys. Cows herded 15. I I made money there. I don't. I thought you'd think you'd lose money. Come back between. What are you talking about? Okay, so we got missions for J and A. So what's what's the J? Yeah, Jack. That's the son. Okay. Let's see. Can we do one for Abigail straight away? Do do do. Now we got the ranch life going on. It's a hard ranch life for us. <laughs> Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. 
Maybe he can be something more. He's a good or, kid. Or Farhad's weird. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Oh, John, get out of that pot. <laughs> get out of there! All right, all right. <laughs> Come on! Scat! Shh. But it must have been hard for uh, for the guys at Rockstar to, you know, make her character. Like some woman who has to live up to everything we've been fighting for the whole game. Scare the crows out of the silo. Alright, okay. Corn remaining. There we go. Protect the corn from the crows. How, how the hell do I do this? Jesus, so many of them. Can I throw a stick of dynamite up there or something? What's the objective here? Jesus, man, I just shot you in the face. Such a waste of bullets. Okay, so if I see anybody coming in, oh crap! You reload the gun properly, man. Two bullets every time. Okay, so every time a crow tries to get in, I gotta just blow him away. Is that it? That is tough. Right, who's trying to get in now? This guy. Yes. Boom. That's such a weird mission, but there you go. Coming in for landing. Yeah, it sucks when he, he just reloads two bullets and spend more time reloading than you do shooting. Hell yeah, pestilence. That was done. Nicely. Okay, let's go talk to Jackie boy. See what he wants. He wants some more, some more guidance. Your family member is not ready right now. Okay. That's, that's very weird. Why the heck would he not be ready? That was another quick one. Let's do another Abigail one then. Fine. Jack's not ready. Whatever the hell he's doing. Old friends, new problems. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours. A oh. Uh-oh. Oh, something you ain't telling me? Bonnie We're in trouble. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. Jesus. You weren't nothing like that. Getting jealous quick. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. Oh. I ain't hiding nothing. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Jesus, emergency? Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Whoa, what's a weevil? You help. Not Could've exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess Stop. not. Stop. She saved your life, you say? Stop. Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. Yeah, she did. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Corn sacks? Like one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen. Gets a plenty of corn sacks. Okay. But I, the crows nearly got all our corn. And John, what's she like? Oh god. We're just friends. I didn't have any drunken dreams about her, I swear. You, I guess. Yeah. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> no. You big mouth of woman. Uh get in the wagon. I gotta get in the wagon. Not on the wagon. John! Wait! Well she's coming too, keeping an eye on us. I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Well, Come on, man. Let's get going. 
That better be a fox there. Go to the get to the general store in McFarland's ranch before time runs out. Why make this a time mission? Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the board. Oh, while you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. Oh man, do we gotta go the long way through Thieves Land? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Oh Jesus. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Yep. yep. Yeah, John, stop digging, man. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. Hmm. So oh, don't cross over that man. Breaking the law. Just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the dock. Oh, don't tell her that, John. She's worried about you. What? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting unannounced. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. It's so hard to see uh, Abigail and John in the gang, you know. They do kind of fit. A family that seem like a different sort. You knew the truth, John, and they hated you for it. God, I would love like a playable like flashback scene or something. That would have been fantastic. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. Do a quick mission with uh, Dutch and the boys. Too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. <laughs> oh! Oh, she snuck that in there, lovely. Dry goods. Tobacco? Hey, thank you so much. We lost the entire heart. Oh, she's gonna have a good look at her now. I'd like you to <laughs> meet my wife, Abigail. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. gentlemen, all of a sudden. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. Oh God, look at this. Meow! Cat fight. Among other things, I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. I think she was flirting with John before she, yeah, she found out he was married. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. Amazing. Yeah, that's good. Well, we didn't do anything with that corn. From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Oh, God. <laughs> You're going to start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so too. I never felt so outnumbered. It's cool. It's all like, you know, kind of silly missions, but it's so cool. We all have like, you can kind of get a feel for John's life. Have the McFarlands as friends. It's cool. You're decent enough life. That's kind of one of those last looks. Oh. oh, what's that? Oh, God, she's a bit jealous. Ma'am. Oh. Poor Bonnie. Bonnie needs to find somebody. Jeez, that's a long scene there. God, must be the last look, you know, the last time we see her. Back! Holy mother of Christ. You think, just leave it there. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling, Abigail. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal. Like She's pretty. I don't like that. I have thought she'd be just 
your thing. The perfect rancher's wife. I ever saw one. I already got a ring. That's supposedly she's a 29-year-old spinster. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. Yeah, there should be some kind of, should make a kind of cowgirl dating game for this. <laughs> Just bring uh, Bonnie McFarland on. We got Miss Bonnie McFarland, 29 year old spinster. Likes to ranch. Heard cattle and break horses. She's broken a few men too. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. Never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old game. Yeah, good point. I did what they asked. And that's it? The last crime. Hate this bridge! Together, ain't we? I hate this bridge. You owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was a stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Judge, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are. Than they were. They yeah. We gotta try Jackson, exactly. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. The fact you're trying to change to get out of life is enough to make you better than them. They were wait they prefer to be swallowed up by it. Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be alright. Gonna take time. For a while his world was safe. Normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. Upside down again. Twisted. Sounds like the freshman speller. When he asked about Uncle Bill and Uncle Gus. They were family when he was a little boy. Oh crap, I didn't know that. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. I didn't know he was a kid. I didn't know that. I thought... They had him after he got out of the gang. That kind of changes things. Jesus, John. With a kid in a gang. Now are you happy? Look. Day, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Jesus, John. Could you do the cooking once? Now he seems happy enough. It's a crappy old wagon, though. These horses are slow as all hell. Off we go. Who have we got now? You. You for Uncle. Uncle something or other. Just Uncle. Just Uncle. That's his first name. Uncle. And his last name is Marston. Uncle Marston. Okay. Alright guys. I'm going to leave it here. This has been good. John's finally starting to get his life back together a little bit. We'll finish off these missions. Let's see where we go from there. But so far Beecher's Hope. Is uh, very justly named. Maybe there is some hope for John here. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.